What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about the seven best color combinations for men. Okay, I know I spend a lot of time talking about how your clothes should fit, and you know, I truly believe that fit is the most important aspect of style. If your clothes don't fit, nothing else really matters, including what color they are. Okay, but after fit, you know, I think color is also very important. It's like a close second. It's one of the most common questions I get. I, probably, I get emails every week asking, you know, what color should I wear? How do I combine colors? And what are the best color combinations for shorter men? And you know, color can feel a little complicated because first of all, there are so many colors, and once you start combining them, I mean, there are literally infinite combinations. I actually did a whole presentation, a whole webinar uh, that gets into color theory and skin tone and contrast, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link to that down below and somewhere up here. Um, but in this video, I wanna really simplify it and just give you you know, some really actionable advice. So seven color combinations that you can pull off and that you could probably already create with stuff that you own, so you don't have to buy anything. Just a quick note about colors. So there's monochromatic colors, which I'm sure you already know what a monochromatic uh, color scheme is. And that's when you have the different shades of the same color. So if you're wearing a, a light blue shirt and dark blue pants, that's a monochromatic outfit. But the color schemes that I'm gonna talk about aren't monochromatic. They're combining different colors that are closely related. These are analogous color combinations. So for example, blue and green are analogous colors because they're not the same color, but they're closely related. They're neighbors on the color wheel. Okay, as opposed to say blue and orange, those are complementary colors because they're opposites. Okay, they're far away from each other on the spectrum of color. I love analogous colors, especially on the shorter body type because it allows you to wear different colors and combine different colors in a low contrast way. In fact, I think the analogous color scheme or the analogous color combinations are the best choice for anybody who wants to kind of streamline their figure you know, maximize their perceived height, or at the very least, avoid looking shorter. So you notice that there are a lot of analogous color relationships in these seven color schemes we're gonna talk about. All right, the first combination is blue and gray. So this is a classic, very sophisticated, very safe, easy to pull off color combination that you, know, you probably already have a bunch of stuff in your wardrobe that fits into this color combination. It can be dressed up or down. You can go super casual or super dressy with this color combination. Uh, any shades of blue or gray work, anything from a light blue to a deep navy, uh, very light gray to a, a dark charcoal. Now, I prefer to uh, work with the same shades. So if I'm going with light blue, I'm gonna pair it with light gray. If I'm going with a deep navy, I'm gonna pair it with a deep charcoal gray. When you do this, you're gonna maximize the heightening effect this color combination will have. This is probably the easiest color combination to pull off. You probably already have a bunch of stuff that works with it. So, you know, if you're, if you're brand new to this stuff, I would start with blue and gray. Right, the second color combination is blue and green. And when I say green, I mean anything from, you know, forest green to hunter green to olive. You know, really the choice is yours. Maybe not lime green, but pretty much any other shade of green and blue work well together. Now, these are both natural colors, you know, as in they occur in nature. So they pair really well with earth tones and neutrals like brown and tan and khaki and cream. And it makes it super easy to combine these with various accessories and layers. So this is just a solid year round color scheme. You probably already have a bunch of stuff that works well with this color scheme. So definitely experiment with blue and green. All right, the third color combination is black and burgundy. Now this one seems a little more formal and I think it is a great way to kind of break out of the black on black or black and white color combinations that you often see at formal events. It's a really, really elegant color combination. And you know, black and burgundy are both dark colors. So just like wearing all black, for example, it's gonna have a very streamlined look. It's gonna have a heightening, slimming down effect. But it doesn't mean that you know you have to reserve this color combination for suits and tuxedos. You can also go casual. You know, the most basic example of this would be like slim fit black jeans and a burgundy t-shirt or polo. It's an awesome combination. Anybody can pull it off, but you don't see it very often. So if you're the kind of guy that wants to be a little more unique and set yourself apart from other guys, you should definitely uh, give the black and burgundy combination a shot. Okay, number four is white and tan. And when I say white, I'm also including very light blue. Like if you think like a seersucker shirt, it almost looks white from a distance, but when you get up close, it actually has some light blue in it. So this is a great color combination for summertime when the weather starts to heat up. Um, lighter colors are just inherently summery. You know, they're fresh, they're cool. 
And I think a lot of the times, um, especially shorter guys or bigger guys are told they have to wear dark colors because it'll help them look slimmer and taller. And listen, dark colors do have a slimming effect, but it doesn't mean that you just have to stick with them all the time. One of my go-to color combinations for summertime, especially for like a business casual setting, is a white Oxford cotton button down and khaki chinos, you know, and rolled up, you know, cuffed a little bit, showing some ankle, maybe with some loafers. It's just such a nice, fresh, summery color combination. Now wearing white and tan, just like wearing, you know, black and gray, is going to help streamline your look. It's gonna cut down on that bad horizontal contrast that us shorter guys want to avoid. Obviously, these two colors pair really, really well with blue, especially light blue, and then other neutrals like camel or brown. All right, color scheme number five is green and brown. This is a very natural, earthy color combination. It takes a little bit of finesse to pull off. You don't want to end up looking like Robin Hood or one of his merry men. But if you do it right, you can look very suave, very put together. I think this is especially a great color combination for fall. You know, once the weather starts to cool down and you start wearing thicker, more textured, more interesting, heavier materials and fabrics like tweed and flannel and leather. It's just such a cool color combination. Uh, you can obviously mix in uh, other kind of neutral colors like blue and gray. It's just a lot of possibilities here. So definitely experiment with green and brown, especially when the weather starts to cool down. All right, number six is gray and brown. This is actually one of my favorite color combinations. I feel like it's kind of underrated because you don't see it as often. It's kind of like the gray and blue combo. It works with a bunch of different outfits and a bunch of different shades. So you could go with, you know, very light gray and very light brown, almost like a tan or khaki, or you could go with the darker colors, you know, like a darker brown and a charcoal. I personally love combining the lighter grays with the lighter shades of brown. So for example, like a light gray, button-up shirt worn with very light khaki chinos. You know, I think that's such a cool color combo. It's kind of just a different take on the ubiquitous, uh, you know, light blue uh, button-up shirt with khaki chinos that you see everywhere. This will help set you apart a little bit. It's still very safe, very easy to pull off color combination, but just kind of helps you stand out from the crowd. Okay, and then number seven, black and brown. Granted, of all the combinations on this list, this is probably the hardest one to pull off. It's kind of like navy and black, and that if you do it wrong, it can look like you're just accidentally making a mistake, like you got dressed in the dark. <laughs> but if you do it right, it can be very, very elegant. Anybody who knows what they're doing will really appreciate this color combination. Obviously, black and brown are very closely related. They're both dark colors, and so they work well on the shorter frame because they reduce contrast. The most obvious example of this color combo would be like slim fit, black jeans, and a medium shade brown leather jacket. Another example would be like a black suit with a camel top coat, or black jeans with brown suede Chelsea boots. Again, out of these seven combos, black and brown isn't the easiest one to pull off. So if you're relatively new to this stuff, I'd probably hold off on this one and go with you know one of the more obvious choices like blue and gray or blue and green. But once you feel comfortable and you, and you wanna start kind of getting out of your comfort zone or pushing the envelope a little bit, definitely start playing around with the black and brown color combo. Okay, so any of these seven color combinations are a great choice for any guy, but especially the shorter guy. Uh, you know, you probably already have a bunch of uh, clothes in your closet that fit into two or three of these color combos. You know, for me, between blue, gray, green, brown, and tan, you know, that's pretty much my whole wardrobe. And all these colors work well together, so it's really easy for me to put together a quick outfit uh, when I look at my wardrobe because it all kind of works together in those two or three color schemes that are closely related. So as always, if you have any questions about color or anything else or any suggestions for me, leave a comment down below. And until next time, stay stylish.